we are talking Wraith, a 2017 movie directed and written by Michael O. Uh, Shagebell. Now, this is not the Charlie Sheen science fiction action out from back in the day. This is a haunted house movie on a budget, apparently based on a true story. And it focuses on this young family, a uh, uh, mother, husband, and the kind of 14-year-old daughter who live in this huge house over a hundred or so years old and there seems to be some type of spirit that is kind of communicating and obviously they are kind of a little bit concerned uh, about what its intentions are. Uh, the mother is just kind of just recently found out she's, she's pregnant. Uh, we have a small cameo from Lance Henriksen and that's what I'm going to tell you about the plot. So let's talk about race. Let's talk about what works first of all. First thing for me is location shooting here really does kind of lend itself to some fantastic haunted house visuals. The house that they've picked here looks absolutely fantastic. Uh, it really does have this kind of like gothic kind of monsters feel to it. I really liked it, although it was pretty good. And as the main character, the mother, I think is definitely the kind of the best actor on the on the on the actual movie. Maybe with the exception of Lance Henriksen, but he's kind of only in a, a really a, a couple of minutes of screen time if that. Um, so it actually does have a, a kind of fairly uh, slow build. It's not so much a horror film rather than a kind of a supernatural drama as such. This is very kind of light on scare. So it's a kind of like uh, really a family horror film to a certain degree. There's not really much here that is going to, you know, scare your socks off, so to speak. So it's kind of, it's worth watching if you are in a, a kind of younger a demographic, so to speak. However, what doesn't work for me, this is obviously a low budget movie. Um... And it does show the effects here, I've got to say, are kind of cheap, but they're, they're not too bad. I mean, the effects of the, uh, the kind of this ghostly image that you'll see, I don't say, you know, the reasons for it and all that, is, you know, it, it kind of looks a little cheap and kind of a little bit, um, obviously, kind of video effects, but not terrible. However, what I didn't find was the, the, the it, it was kind of too excusable, was the script here. Um, the script here is quite poor, unfortunately, and um, for example, we'll have instances where the mother will start believing there's a ghost, but really not a lot has actually happened. I mean, it's almost the opposite that you'll find in most films, where stuff will happen and people still won't believe it's a ghost. In this one, barely anything happens, and the woman's like, right, yup, it's, it's a ghost, you know, and, and kind of, uh, and, and stuff like that. The daughter is going to be 14, but she's written to be like a kind of eight-year-old. Uh, really, with the way she acts and kind of talks and stuff, that seems like she's a lot younger than her character is meant to be. Uh, and we just kind of arrive to conclusions very, very quickly. And, uh, you know, we're, for example, the wife is um, uh, researching something at the library. I mean, hey, come on, this is the day of the internet, let's say that. Anyway, she's at the library and, um, you know, trying to kind of find... Uh, uh, information about the kind of past residents of this house and something in the library. Oh yeah, Rebecca. Oh, that's your ghost, pretty much. It's like, come on, come on. There's some lazy writing in the, in this movie, and it maybe is just a little bit too slow with not a lot going on. It's a pleasant, um, you know, inoffensive movie that if you just want to kind of like pop it on the TV at kind of three o'clock in the afternoon, it's not going to offend anyone. And if you kind of you're doing something while you're watching it. You know, you'll kind of, you be a moderately entertained, but it's really nothing special. Um, it, it really doesn't need to exist. It doesn't fill any kind of void that is kind of a, a gap in the market, so to speak. But it's certainly not going to hurt anyone. It's not. It's never as bad as kind of like other kind of movies in its kind of like in its contemporaries. The acting isn't fantastic, really. Um, you know, the writing is probably the worst aspect of it. The effects are kind of like, obviously, on the cheaper side. The music is pretty good, I'll say that. Um, but it's kind of a very much a so-so film. So, Wraith, nothing spectacular. and It's not going to blow your socks off. It's not going to scare you. Um, but, like I've said, there are a lot worse films in this kind of like this genre. So, I'll give it a 4 out of 10. It's okay if you are... Uh, very bored and you just really love kind of haunted house films. So 4 out of 10, have you seen it? What did you think of it? Leave me a comment and I shall look forward to you next time. Bye for now.